How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Connect on Sunday, March the 10th as we get this video to you. Hope you guys are doing great. I have your free play winner in just a second here. It is going to be between Delaware and Hofstra this evening. Also tell you what I think about Texas State, James Madison, the Brooklyn Cavs, Illinois, Iowa, Maryland, Penn State, Houston, Sacramento, Memphis, OKC, and Philadelphia, New York. So eight free plays for you today. You're very welcome. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. And the algorithm of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Uh, we also have a, uh, and we give you our free plays and leans here every single day on this daily video. If you can't get enough of us, we do a YouTube premium channel as well, where we come at you once a week. I did it this morning. And uh, we give you about 15 games. Um, it's, it's really wonderful during football season as well as we talk a lot about college football and NFL. Um, yeah, but for $20 a month, we teach you how to fish, how to do your own algorithms, how to look at ball games in depth. It's our teaching channel. So join it if you'd like to. We come at you normally on, uh, we're going to come at you Thursday evenings. I think that's the best way to go. Um, cause that's what we'll keep it throughout the year, but Thursday evening around nine 30 or so. And, uh, it's uh, it's it's wonderful. It's a great community. It's a recorded podcast, and I summarize it at the end. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section, as well as a link to how to get to free sixty dollars with the premium selections. If you want even more content, you be sure to check our Twitter. It has our latest updates, our hot takes on sports, and our most recent videos. All right, so let's get to your free play winner today. And I'm going to give you uh, what do I need to tell you? Well, we had we had a four and day yesterday in the MMA. Congratulations for plus twenty one hundred. Our MMA season is incredible, plus 7,100 so far. 9 of 11 winning March Madness as well. 10 and 4 run in the NBA for plus 3,400. Yesterday, basketball is blob. We'll bounce back today between the Lakers and the T-Wolves. I really like the selection of Michigan State and Indiana. I think we're going to do well. NHL, great four-unit selection. Uh, winner on Saturday, I believe. That brings our run, if I'm not mistaken, to 5 and 1. Soccer, 9 and 2 run. Golf, 7 and 2 run. MMA, plus 2025. What else is there to say? So join us for all those things across the board. Your free play today is on Delaware minus the points. I'm sorry, uh, Delaware plus the points. You can probably find, last time I saw Delaware was around plus five and a half. Uh, let me see what Delaware is right now for you. Uh, uh, it's five and a half. There's some plus sixes out there, but Delaware plus the five and a half. This game goes off at 830, so you got plenty of time to get it in. 19 and 13 and 19 and 12 teams can up here. Well, Hofstra won by five points last time. Hofstra has won the last seven in a row here. So Delaware should do well. Delaware is a senior-laden team. Uh, Delaware just beat Hampton by 30 points. Delaware beat Xavier on the road. Hofstra rolls in here, coached by Speedy Claxton, probably the best name of the sport. Hofstra off of a loss to Charleston, which I'm aware, uh, so they'll be motivated. But I like Delaware here plus the points. They're a more senior-laden team. They have revenge. They have the better quality win this year. And I will take the points here with Delaware uh, because I have this sort of game as sort of a pick em. So I like the fact that I, I will tell you this. I am where... I am aware that Delaware beat Hampton by 30 points. That makes me a little nervous. But Delaware did beat Xavier on the road, and I think that says something. And they hung in tough against Ohio. They were there against UNC Greensboro. Uh, you know, and you look at Hofstra. Hofstra's not a bad team at all. They have that big win against South Florida. Uh, you know, Hofstra's played some good teams too, and they hung in against St. John's and otherwise. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you and I understand Hofstra's a pretty good team, but Delaware, I think, can hang tough today. And so I'm going to take them plus the five and a half. As far as James Madison is concerned here, um, I like James Madison today. Let me see what the James Madison line is here today. I'm almost tempted to give you James Madison as the free play the more I think about it because James Madison really, really needs to win this game. That game goes off at 832. 17 and 17 team and a 28 and 3 team hook it up here. James Madison is 28 and 3. They won 82 to 65 against this team last time. So the Texas State does have some revenge. But uh, you knew they were going to be pretty good when they beat Michigan State on the road for the first game of the year. That's how good James Madison was right off the bat. They're on the cusp of finally getting to the dance here. Texas State is not a bad team at all, but James Madison is likely going to do well here considering the fact that uh, this finally gets to the dance. They have a coach who I don't believe has ever been to the dance and uh, coming off a nice win against Marshall. And uh, Texas State, of course, comes off uh, three straight wins here against Troy, Southern Miss, and Old, and Old Dominion. So they're playing way above their pay grade, if you will. Uh, let me see how James Madison started off that last game. Yeah, they started off red hot. I, st I like James Madison to get it done here. I like the Nets against the Cavs as well. You have a Nets team that, um, to their credit, I mean, not to their credit, but they've been struggling a little bit, and I get that. 
Uh, they come off a 118 to a 95 loss, and they're a little banged up. No Cam Thomas. That makes me worry a little bit. But they come off losses to Charlotte and Detroit, and I think the Cavs have a big game on deck as well. Um, they have Phoenix on deck with Durant, and they come off a nice win against Minnesota. I think it's just a letdown spot for the Cavs, frankly, and I think the Nets have it. They're just desperate here, and I think they play well without Cam, and I think this game goes in favor of the Nets plus the seven. Illinois and Iowa, the last time these two teams met, the, the game went over the post total, and I think that's what happens here again today. You have an Illinois team that rolls in um, that lost to Purdue 70, 71 to 77. So they're going to put up more than 71 points. They're a top five offense. So that's going to motivate them quite well. Uh, this is the same team that put up 91 points against Wisconsin. So why can't they put up some points here? And then you have Iowa, who had already lost to um, Iowa lost to Illinois 95 85 just recently, come off back to back wins. So if they can be an active dog, why can't this game go over the post of total? Um, so I like the over between Illinois and Iowa. Maryland and Penn State, I like the under there. Um, you have a Maryland team that just lost to Indiana and Northwestern back-to-back games. And they give up 83 points. For a top-10 defense to give up that many points is quite a bit. And when they face Penn State, if I'm not mistaken, when they face Penn State, um, yeah, they have they faced Penn State early this year. It was 81-75, to 75 and they won. Um, so Penn State has revenge, and Penn State's a top 100 defense as well. They come off back-to-back wins uh, or losses over Iowa and Minnesota, uh, which makes me think that they're going to step up on defense as well. So when you put that all that together... Um, I wouldn't be a bit surprised here to see. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see this game go under the posted total. Um, I do lean on Maryland. Um, I know Penn State comes off back-to-back losses, but this is a game that Maryland absolutely cannot, uh, they absolutely cannot lose either. Maryland has the better quality wins. They've beaten Illinois. They've already beaten Penn State. I understand that Penn State has revenge, and Penn State does have some quality wins. They also beat Illinois too. But I think the under is a safer selection there. Houston, Sacramento. I like Houston here. Houston Detroit destroyed this team 122 to 97 the last time they played each other. Um, so they actually beat Sacramento twice this year. No green for this game as well. I think Houston will be motivated without having green. I know no Davion Mitchell for the Kings as well. But Houston is playing well right now, and Sacramento has the Bucks on the deck. So I'm going to lean on Houston. Memphis and Oklahoma City. Give me Oklahoma City here. Memphis is a mess. They don't have anybody. They're basically a G League team playing right now. Oklahoma City won 116-97 last time. The question is, can Memphis hang tough? Memphis barely lost to Atlanta. They've won two of three. Oklahoma City has no injuries, though. It's just fantastic work by them. The problem for Memphis is that they just have no bench. And when OKC has quite a bit of a bench, and I don't think they'll stop scoring. I like Oklahoma City. Philadelphia and New York. Lean on Philadelphia here. The Knicks won 110-96 to last time. The Knicks have won the last two games back-to-back against this team. Philly has all the revenge of the world, but Philly's also won three in a row in this series. Um... So, I mean, they only put up 95 points in their last game as well. I should say Philly's lost three in a row. This should motivate them here. New York is off one of its biggest wins of the year so far. New Orleans was up 63-34 to on on um, on the Sixers in their last game. That's so embarrassing at home. I think the Sixers will show some heart. I wouldn't be surprised if the Sixers hang tough today. So your free play today is on Delaware. Lean on James Madison. Lean on the Nets. Lean on Illinois and Iowa over. Lean on Penn State, Maryland under. Lean on uh, Houston, lean on Oklahoma City, and lean on Philadelphia. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indie Cab, working hard for you every single day.